skin, Big Bandage. Hey guys, what's up? It is Callie here, and today I want to talk to you guys about something a little bit different. I want to talk about acne and self-love, or acne and I guess a little bit of confidence, because I feel like it's a subject that I get asked about a lot, and that honestly, even though I seem like I'm pretty confident, I mean, I am pretty confident. I have my days and my weeks where I like acne get the better of me. So I think it's really important to talk about loving yourself regardless of the clarity of your skin and not getting so obsessed and so focused on getting clear skin that it just becomes like the epitome of happiness and then any setbacks are just like total devastation. I know personally, I do go through that, especially with this most recent breakout. After having my skin clear for two months and thinking like, this is it, I found my solution. And then trying out a product, testing it out, and then having my skin be this messed up again. It's, it's so frustrating. It, it's just really hard. So it's important to remember that we are me and you, or whoever's watching this, we're acne prone, so we're going to get pimples every now and then, and so that's A. B, it's not the end of the world. It will go away, it will get better. Right now, I'm stressing out because I was expecting my skin to be clear for an event, for something special I was doing, and now I almost feel like let down, or like I'm letting people down because I'm breaking out. I know that sounds so silly and weird, but I found myself today sitting and looking at other people and looking at their skin and just comparing the way that they looked to the way that I looked and thinking, why can't I just be normal? Why can't I just have clear skin? Why is it so hard for me? And I kind of started falling down this deep hole thinking all these bad thoughts when in reality, it's not it's not a bad thing to have acne. Like, yes, maybe this is a flaw by society, but it, one, it's gonna go away eventually. It has to, I mean, it can't be there forever. Two, maybe you're comparing your skin to other people's, but maybe they're self-conscious about something. Maybe it's their eyebrows and they're looking at your eyebrows like, oh my gosh, I wish that I had her eyebrows. Or maybe you have acne, but they, are struggling financially like everyone has their insecurities everyone has their issues that are going on in their lives just because you can <laughs> clearly see mine like this is my biggest issue in my life and honestly for that I'm grateful I'm grateful that I don't have any other health things going on and that I'm a normal happy person uh, most of the time <laughs> normal ish I'm grateful that this is the, the biggest thing going on, like, okay, it's pimples. It's just, I feel like I've been dealing with it for so long now, and I kept thinking, like, oh, I'll just research it, and I'll figure it out, and I will, after I figure it out, I'm gonna tell everyone exactly what works, I, I got this, and now I feel like, I don't know, I've researched through every single avenue. I've tried every single supplement. I've tried hormones. I've tried a vegan diet. I've tried plant-based diet. I've tried Accutane. I've tried antibiotics. It's just almost like at the point now where I'm really like, okay, this is me. Maybe I should just stop trying to change it. This is who I am. And if anyone else has a problem with that, that's on them, obviously. It, I mean, you kind of have to accept it for what it is. I, I feel like you have to accept it for what it is and not keep chasing after something. I don't want to say that's unattainable, but like being acne prone, I'm always going to get some sort of pimples. My mom even still gets pimples. So really, I just have got to love myself for who I am. And I'm telling you guys to do that too. Love yourself for who you are. You know, if you do get clear skin and it just keeps staying clear one day, that is great. If you found something that works for you, that is great. But I feel like there are really people out there, like yours truly, where it's just something that hopefully will go away with time or hopefully maybe won't go away. It's genetic. I find myself a lot, a lot of the times basing 
my worth or my happiness on my skin. I'll be like, oh my god, my skin looks so good. And I'll be obsessed with it. And I want it to keep looking that good. And I'll get so wrapped up in it. And then when it starts to break out at all, even a little bit, I'm like, I feel like it's a total setback. And I think I've really just got to get out of that mindset and realize that that's what being acne prone is. It means that you'll have ups and you'll have downs. But it's about finding that inner peace within yourself regardless of what else is going on. Realizing that you are your education and you are your pets and you are the people that you love and you are your cooking and you are your art and you are your gardening. You are not some pimples on your face. And yes, it's a part of your identity, but it shouldn't be something that you think is negative about you. Just because society says you have to have clear skin to be beautiful or you have to have a small nose or big lips or whatever, that doesn't mean jack crap. You can look however you want and still be beautiful. So I'm telling myself today, my zits are beautiful, okay? Obviously, it's something that I'm sure we all wish that we didn't have to go through and suffer with because it's it's physically and emotionally painful, but I think it's just really about accepting yourself, you know, and accepting others for who they are and to quit trying, at least for me, quit trying to change myself because Again, I get so wrapped up in this idea and this thought of clear skin. I literally get obsessed with clear skin because it's something that I like long for. And it sucks because there's people who struggle with their weight and all they have to do is work out and diet and they can get control of it, obviously over a course of time. But with your skin, there's not like one thing that you can do. It's like you can keep trying to fix it and you can keep trying and keep trying. But it's like you have to try so many different things and if your skin is like mine, sometimes all these different things still don't work. So it's frustrating to not be able to really fix an insecurity. I have even, I'm gonna tell you guys this, I have even done a $500 skincare routine for a few months and it still didn't work. So I'm like, okay, what? So just be really <laughs> gentle and nice to yourself when you are breaking out and tell yourself and realize that it is going to be okay i promise and nobody else is looking at your insecurity but you nobody else is staring at your acne nobody else really cares everyone has their own things going on and they're probably worried about their big feet or they're worried about their hair or <laughs> their teeth like Everybody's so focused on themselves that they're not even going to pay attention to you. I don't know why this video has been so hard for me. I think it's because I've just been feeling really weird lately and I've just, I've kind of had this epiphany where I'm like, okay, I'm just, I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna quit trying to search for an answer and just accept it for what it is. Cause it's like every time I find a new product, I'm like, oh, maybe this will work and I spend money. Oh, maybe this will work. Oh, maybe this, pill will work or maybe this vitex or this chastberry or this zinc or this niacinamide whatever i feel like i'm just still gonna get acne i always still get acne and i try it for a long time at least three months everything and it always doesn't really do anything so yeah <laughs> accept yourself love yourself if you have acne or not so if you are that person where you feel like you're so frustrated and nothing's working and you get your hopes up because for two months your skin is clear or for a month your skin is clear and then it freaks out again and then your skin is clear and then it freaks out again just realize that you're not alone and yes it's frustrating but it's a part of who we are and instead of trying to hide it away or compare yourself to other people or get frustrated like I recently have just accept yourself and love yourself and realize it doesn't change you. It doesn't make you a different person. It doesn't make you unattractive. Everyone freaking gets acne. Again, I'm not trying to like belittle it or say that it's not an issue because obviously it is, but it's just about accepting yourself, loving yourself, 
realizing your worth and don't let anyone hold you back or try to bring you down or tell you differently because you have skin issues. Um, a lot of people are really ignorant when it comes to skin, thinking that you can just wash it away or just go to the dermatologist or just do X, Y, Z. But hopefully with that will get better. Don't worry about other people's judgments. Don't feel embarrassed or ashamed. Girl, live that acne life loud and proud and love yourself. Realize that it will go away with time or even if it doesn't go away with time that nine out of 10 times at least it gets better. I've never seen an 80 year old grandma with acne like mine so maybe I'm wrong but we'll see. <laughs> Remember to love yourself, to be kind to yourself. Realize that being acne prone means sometimes you'll be clear and sometimes you won't but when you're not be extra kind to yourself. Don't beat yourself up, don't get embarrassed, don't compare yourself. Realize that you're strong and nobody's judgments matters in society, but your own. That's the only judgment that matters. All right, guys, that is it. That's all I have for today. So make sure that you like, comment, subscribe down below if you like this video to the Acne channel. And that's all I got for you guys. All right, bye. There's a